I'm Abby Young. I'm a principal environmental planner at the Bay Area Air Quality Management District. When I was growing up in the East Bay, there were a lot of days when you could see brownish, orangish, hazy smog. It's so much cleaner now. A lot of it is because of the things the Air District has done. Really what it comes down to is the world that I want to leave to my kids. My son rides his bike to school most days. I might have actually been a bit inspired by my son. He has a pretty long ride to get to school and he loves it. I thought, well, if he can do it, I can certainly do it. I started riding my bike and after I did it once, I realized how easy it was and how great it made me feel. I just decided I would do it. The moment I get on my bike and I start turning the pedals, I just get in a good mood. Whenever I see, you know, the roads choked with cars, that is just a reminder that there's a lot more work to do. Whether it's working on global warming and climate change, or it's working on improving local air quality, the whole point is that I'm leaving a better environment and a better Bay Area for my kids. I'm Ozzy Bouquet Acaba and I care about air quality because everybody deserves a right to breathe fresh, clean air. Diesel impacts the air quality. You can see it in buses and trucks and also from the port, from the stationary equipment. Everybody benefits from the goods movement, but what we don't see is an equal distribution of the burden. In this case, that's the air quality. If you go in the older homes near diesel generating sources, you can look at the windowsills and see that there's a black dust. If you can see it, you're breathing it. We've worked with the Air District to identify policy strategies which can reduce the emission of diesel from the port. These policies are here to benefit the community and that includes the people who work and live in those places. And therefore, it seems like a unnecessary bureaucracy to adhere to the policies. But in the end, it's healthier for everybody. I'm Dennis Dakota. This is my service station. I've been the uh, owner operator for 35 years. I'm a Marin County person raised in this community, and it is my responsibility as a business owner and a property owner to safeguard the environment. The Bay Area Air Quality Management District is the regulator. I am in full support of that type of regulatory oversight. I have no problem with it. As a businessman, it saves me money from the standpoint of having any kind of product breach or polluting the atmosphere. Part of those regulations I helped develop as input from the business side. That's the type of working rapport that is needed between industry and government in order to take and make a regulation work. My granddaughters, they're gonna to have to live in this environment. And if it's polluted and unhealthy, you know, what's tomorrow gonna bring? My name is Josh Anstey. I work in Rutherford, California. We have about 500 acres of grapes. We focus on Bordeaux varietals, so we have Petit Bordeaux, Malbec, Merlot, and then a little bit of Semillon, Moscato, and Chardonnay. Watching the grapevines go through the, the season is always an exciting thing. They're a perennial crop. They go dormant and grow back. There's a lot of grapevines that can last you know, 30, 40 years, and because of that, a lot of the decisions you're making are long-term. We have a very strong dedication to the environment. Maybe three years ago, the Bay Area Air District was starting a, a program to replace old diesel engines. We use a lot of our pump engines for both frost and irrigation. Cleaning up and replacing our diesel engines has a lot of beneficial effects. If I woke up one day and the air quality in the Napa Valley looked like it does in, in LA on a bad morning, I think it would have a big impact on your life, both medically and I think spiritually, quite honestly. 